Hey everyone, the Game Chief here. Today I'm going to be going over adding the Shatech M2400 from Armor 2 into your Daisy server. As I'm sure a good majority of people remember this gun from Armor 2 if you did play it, there is of course a port to Armor 2, um, which is pretty fairly popular on Daisy. So we're going to go over getting this added to your server. We'll also go ahead and get it added to your traders and get it spawning on your server as well. So first thing is first, I'm going to go ahead and shut down my server, which is currently running. As always, I do use Omega Manager. You don't have to use Omega Manager. The process is fairly similar. And now that that's shut down, I'm going to go ahead and go into the overview here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the mod configuration. We'll scroll down here and we'll just look for the shade deck. And it shows up here. We'll go ahead and add it. This doesn't really need to be added in any particular order, so I'll just leave this on the bottom. And we do need this to be client and server side, so we won't change any settings here. We'll go ahead and save changes. We'll go back over to the dashboard here. And then if it gives you the option to install untracked mods, go ahead and do that. In my case, I do have it installed on my test server, so I don't need to go ahead and download it. But if you do have the option here, go ahead and click that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly start the server to go ahead and apply changes. So it's going to go ahead and move the mod in there. And then we'll also be able to make some changes in a moment here. So I'm just going to wait for this to start. And that's started, and I'm going to shut it back down. And if we open up our file browser and go into day Z, we have our servers. Server zero is our test server as usual. And as you can see here, it does have the folder here. It's been moved over. And if you're doing this manually without Omega Manager, you would just go ahead and download this from the workshop, copy it from your computer over into your server. So like you would install any other mod. And then you'd go into the key folder, copy the by key here, and make sure that's in your keys folder so people can join. In our case, Omega Manager handles that part for us, so that's good to go. So next, we're going to want to go ahead and get this added into our types and our traders and all that, so that way it's purchasable and also spawnable in the world. So if we actually go over to the workshop page, of course, this will be linked in the description. We'll go over to discussions here, and there's actually a post here with the types and trader config, so you don't have to make your own. This will again be linked as well. So we have the types here, we have a trader config, and then a CFG spawn as well as type, so I linked it down here. So we'll go and do that. And then here we go, we do have the types.xml uh, entry you need to add. So we can scroll down to the bottom, go to the raw paste data. I'm just going to control A to highlight everything, and then I can copy all that. And what we'll need to do is modify our types file. So we'll go into our MP missions, and then Daisy Offline, Trinaris Plus is the mission I'm using. If you're using a different map, of course, you'll want to change that. And we'll go into the DB folder, and then we have types.xml, and we could edit it. And we could just throw this in here as long as it is somewhere here after the type start flag. So this creates an individual type. And then, you know, as long as it's in that type flag, it's good. There's also tools online that allow you to check your types to make sure there's no errors. Um, might link one of those in the video description as well. However, I'm going to do this a slightly alternate way. Um, but if you wanted to, this, doing this would work. Just paste it in there. As long as it's in there, it will spawn. You'll be good to go. I like to keep my types cleaner, though. So what we can go ahead and do is something slightly different. And then in a previous video, we did cover making custom types. So we can see up here, I have custom types here. So we have code lock and then also mass as many item overhaul. And this keeps it cleaner. Like I said, you can just paste it in your types if you want to, but I like to separate these. So these are easier to see and remove mods if necessary. And then we have Adam open, which is my preferred text editor. And what we can go ahead and do here is we have the mission open here. So I can just see all the files. And what we're looking for is CFG Economy Core. We'll go and click on that. And then if we scroll over here, we can actually see that we have created some custom entries for those mods I was just showing you. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new entry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and name this just the Shaytech M200. And I'm not gonna put a space in here though. And then we have our types.xml, and then our CFG spawnables.xml. So I'm gonna go and just copy this right here. We'll go into our custom types. I'm just gonna make a new folder. And then go into here. We see that that new folder is there. And we'll create the new file. 
So we have types.xml. And CFG spawnable types, we'll create another one for that as well. And then on my paste bin, I do have a empty types.xml and CFG spawnables.xml. You can just make this yourself if you wanted to. I'm just going to copy out of these. So we have our types.xml. So this has nothing in it currently. So we'll go ahead and go back. We'll go to the types.xml that was provided. We'll copy it again. And we'll go ahead and paste it in there. And this is simple. It's only, let's see here, 100 lines versus it would be a lot longer if we put this in our main types XML and it gets a bit messy. So this just kind of helps separate it. So we'll go ahead and save that and close the file. And then we're going to need to do the same thing with CFG spawnable types. So I'm going to copy the empty one. You could hand write this out if you wanted to. And we'll go back to the paste bin of the provided one. We're going to control A, copy all this. So this is the CFG spawnable types. We'll paste that in there and save again. And then this again keeps it much cleaner if you separate it. You don't have to though if you wanted to, like I was saying, if we go back into our main folder here, our DB folder, you can modify your types XML, throw the types one in here. And then also if you go back here, the CFG spawnable types, you can edit that and just throw those in there if you wanted to. This is just a cleaner way to do it, totally up to you. And we'll go ahead and close that because that's good to go. And then as we can see here, we have our entry types.xml. That looks all good. If you want more information on how this actually works, definitely check out the video on separating your types into its own file. There'll be a link to that in the description. Again, not necessarily just my preferred way of separating everything. We'll go ahead and save that. Next is gonna be the traders. So if we go here, they provided some trader information. So we can go in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and remove the project folder and we'll add another one. So you'll want to go to wherever your trader config is, assuming you want to set this up for traders. So that's going to be my profiles here. And then we have trader. And we'll go ahead and open up the trader config.txt file. So this has all of your current traders you have set up. And we can kind of just see what we got going on here. And the way this is set up, it just gives you a category to drag and drop. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And if we go back in here, we can just find a trader that would make sense to. So I'm just gonna to go to the base weapons one. So we have the weapons trader here. So you, your sidearms, your rifles, whatever assault rifles, and then your sniper rifles. These are all in categories. And then grenades. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to the weapons trader. And I'm just gonna paste in the block they gave us. And I'm just gonna fix the formatting, make that go back a little bit. And then this creates a brand new category in there called the Shaytech M200. It has the both variants of it. So the regular one, the black one, it also has you know, the magazines, your optics for it, even the ammo. So you may wanna move this in. You may wanna just make this as part of your sniper category. It's all up to you. I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here, call it a day, but it's totally up to how you wanna customize your trader. And we'll go ahead and save that. And we can go ahead and minimize out of this and we can go and start our server and make sure that they're one spawning um, in the environment and then also that we can buy it from the traders. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Alrighty, and now that we are in game, we went ahead and went to one of our traders here on Grin Mountain. We do have some cash on us, so we're gonna go ahead and go over to the weapons here. And we're just gonna go to the last category. So we have grenades, and then we have the Shaytech showing up here, which is perfect. So we have some money on us. We have the two variants. You have this one and then the black one. We have our magazines, the different optics it looks like, and then rounds, of course, um, boxed ammo, the suppressor, the two different variants. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy these, make sure these work. So that looks good. We'll buy a mag for it. We'll get an optic on it. And then we'll buy a box of ammo. 
Uh, long for suppressor. And if we go ahead and pull this out here, we can go ahead and attach our optic here. And now that we got some ammo in the magazine and the magazine loaded into the gun, you know, we can verify, yep, that's definitely a Shatek sound right there. We can go and throw the suppressor on here as well. And let's do that. Much better as well, nice and quiet. And next we'll just have to make sure that these are spawning in the wild now. And to verify their spawning, I'm going to go ahead and use the admin tools I have installed, so Vanilla++. And we'll go to the XML editor here, and I'm just going to search for the M200. And we'll search for the regular one here, we'll get some item stats. And it looks like we have a couple of them on the map here in the area. It looks like there's a couple right over here at Northwest Airfield. So we can go over there and make sure those are spawned correctly. And then after looking around for a little bit and using a little bit of ESP because I'm apparently I'm blind, we can see that it is spawned over here right there. So it looks like that is spawning and we'll go ahead and just check for one more item real fast. And it looks like there's some mags in here. We don't really need to teleport over there. We can tell that it is working. So it looks like everything is good to go. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple mod to go ahead and get installed and make sure you got it in your traders and spawning in the wild and all that. You can always make changes to the prices and stuff like that and other minor you know, tweaks to fit you know, your environment. This was just getting it in there with a basic config, no major changes needed. And that's really about it. As always, there'll be a link to my Discord server if you have any questions or concerns, anything like that. People kind of jump in there and help each other out. There's a support channel and all that. If you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And other than that, uh, you guys have a good one and good luck.